Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 casting fourth match of the quarterfinals for the July 17th, 2011 Acron Beta Tournament. This match is between Marvin X playing Vekir in the southwest corner of the map and Skhanov playing Vekir in the northeast corner of the map. So, Vekir Mirror! This is very interesting. Actually, I don't think we've ever seen a Vekir Mirror, especially not recently. So, very cool. So, both players going for Vekir. It looks like both players are going very quickly for standard economy builds. Six RPs on LC for each. It doesn't look like any of them have actually sent out any units to scout, though. They haven't sent out their Shindir Tethbeer to go scout out for them to see what the opponent is up to, see what the opponent is in the first place. So, right now, both players are in the dark about their opponent's actual state. Marvin X has actually jumped back a bit further, but hasn't really changed... Or, he jumped, jumped back to present right as soon as I checked, so I'm not sure what he did in the past. Probably nothing too major, but we will find out very quickly. Stahanov, on the other hand, has, like I said... Actually, no, yeah, there he is. He's actually sending out his Teth Beer now, so about a minute into the game, he's starting to send out his Teth Beer to scout out. His Zion Beer is also building more RPs, one on QP, probably build some more on QP a bit later. And Marvin X is building a, a very quick, quick, very quick depot. Holy crap. He doesn't even have a QP RP yet. He just got a depot right now. And he there's also QP RPs here. So there's QP RP coming for him, and his Shin Beer is going out to scout instead of a Teth Beer. Interesting. So, his Shinbeer will be probably lost in the scouting unless he echoes it out. Sakhanov, on the other hand, like I said, he's sending a Tethbeer. So, Sakhanov will be able to expand a bit faster if he wants to. Sakhanov also going for a fairly quick depot. But, not quite as quick. He's getting auto or he's getting Hawking Glass very quickly. And then he's going to be going for depot, whereas Marvin X hasn't gotten any tech yet. Just going for the depot or going for the foundation for the depot. And the Tethbeer has come in, or will be, will have come in. It looks like it's actually been delayed. Possibly by the Shin the Shinbeer is coming in around the other side of the base, and right now, okay, so sorry, Marvin X has been jumping around a lot. He jumped forward a bit to double check the attack, jumping back to defend against it about five seconds. So the attack of that Tethbeer will be coming in in about five seconds. Depot hasn't actually been built yet. There we go. The depot has been built, though it could have been built a long time ago. Another foundation coming up as well, probably for an aerial control center, and the Tethbeer coming in and. Tethbeer also defending, also coming back to help defend against it. The Tethbeer from Sakhanov, however, will, is probably just a total echo. Sakhanov is going to be... Let's see, where is he now? Yes, he has Tethbeer has been kept back in the base from the looks... No, it's not actually. It's still going out. He's still scouting with it. He's not actually echoing it out. He's just going to be suicide scouting with it. So, as it stands, he's not actually dealing much damage with it, but he is still sending it out. Will be sending it out a bit later, just delaying it slightly every time. And so Tethbeer is just scouting. Not really important now. Another, looks like another Zionbeer is being built. So Sakhanov looks like he's going for, oh, Zion, Zion Halkions. Very quick Zion Halkions instead of his Zion Pulsar tactic. So probably very quick Zion Halkions to skip teleport with the Zion Halkions. So then it's a massive assault force. Well, massively powerful single, single assault force. Tethbeer is as well coming in, seeing there's an aerial control center coming in, and Zion Halkion has been built, so I imagine very quickly Skip Teleport will be upgraded, and no other tech is being upgraded, no other units are being built right now, as Hanov is just hanging out with his Zion Halkion. He will, I'm sure, like I said, be building another one or building Skip Teleport with it, but he hasn't started getting Skip Teleport on it yet. There we go, now it is. Okay, so he has Skip Teleport coming up, so this will be a very fast attack from Hanov with Zion Halkions, and... Looks like Marvin X is going for Cyan Turchers, on the other hand. So, Marvin X will have cloaked attackers and will also be able to get air units very quickly. But, I'm not sure, I seriously doubt this is going to be able to fend off those Zion Halkions coming in. That being said, the Zion Halkions are coming in fairly late into the game. They are coming in about half a half minute above the present. And that means that they aren't going to be able to be that surprising. They will be counterable very easily. Provided that Marvin X actually does have the resources to counter them. Though I'm sure, I'm sure he could. Sakhanov did build them with the resources that they had since the beginning of the game, so Marvin X should be able to build a counter up to them. And Marvin X, about half a minute behind, the attack has just hit in. Marvin X is aware that there will be an attack coming in that Sakhanov is trying to hide. And it looks like Tethfir will be building a comm hub as well. And now the attack has come in. So the Zion Halkions are coming in. Both players see the Zion Halkions attacking, attacking some of the expansion. Of Marvin X, because Marvin X did build an expansion to the west side of the map. He also has a Shin Beer up in the northwest side of the map, possibly to build foundations or possibly just for scouting. But it doesn't look like the Zion Halkin is actually doing too much. It's likely going to be teleporting into the base. No, it's still continuing along here. Hasn't actually decided to teleport out. It's just trying to stop this expansion from getting up. And now Marvin X is going to try to have to, 
are going to have to try to get around this, but I don't know what he can do because those Iron Hawkins are going to be no match for what he has right now. Tetritor is out, but it's not going to help out too much unless, unless they're air units. However, Zion Hawkins aren't that great against air units, so it could at least be a slight diversion, slight damage to the Zion Hawkins before Shin Turchers get up to actually deal with them properly. So kind of on the other hand, about half a minute up from here is going to be building up. He's getting auto defense, he has specials, he's going to be getting calm jam, or he has specials now, so he's likely to be calm jamming with these guys very quickly. So that'll stop anything, Marvin X from doing anything he wants. However, this is fairly late in the game, so Marvin X would still be able to see it and be able to counter it before it becomes a huge problem. There isn't... Gate Tech is not coming up yet, although I wouldn't be surprised if it came up anytime soon. Auto Defense has been built, however, and Sukhanov does not seem to have a lot of resources for getting Gate Tech. Most of his resources are being focused on building units to help defend, to help support this Zion Halkin attack, because it's that Teth Churchers and Shin Churchers are coming in from Marvin X, and Sukhanov does see them, so he will have to deal with them as they come in. Marvin X, on the other hand, is trying to trying to do what he can to save his own expansion. He has, like I said before, he's about actually a minute up from here. He has Teth Tritcher and Zion Pulsar trying to help out against the Zion Halkions. Probably won't be doing too much, though. The Zion Pulsar will be able to deal with some damage, but the Zion Halkions are still a lot tougher and a lot more powerful. All the Zion Pulsar has is range, while Skana, on the other hand, has actually jumped back further than the playable past, and he has managed to get his Zion Halkions into the base, very much closer to the unplayable past, about a minute and a half up from the unplayable pass, and he'll likely be attacking or calm jamming directly very near the unplayable pass. So this is going to be a lot more effective against Marvin X. Though I'm a bit surprised he didn't pull it off sooner. I mean, he did have those Zion Halkions for a while, but this is, is near the unplayable pass. So best to do it as close to the unplayable pass as possible, but the Zion Halkions are probably around further back in here. So at the moment, they're mo more focused on getting rid of the Teth Torture. I don't know if it's kind of how well he's microwing this right now. Marvin X, on the other hand, in the present, about two minutes up from here, is going to be more focused on actually defending against what's going on. He's jumped back two minutes to see what the Zion Hawkins have done, how they've changed things. His Zion Torture is out here, but it's not cloaked to help attack, so nothing is really helping out to attack. Ted Torture, however, is a good idea. That Ted Torture is outside the base. It will be able to recover the base if Calm Jam does happen, which is very likely to with Zion Hawkins. Very, I'm... Sakhanov will likely be calm jamming the foundations as soon as he gets rid of the Teth Torture. Although, even if he doesn't get rid of the Teth Torture, the Teth Torture is still in range of the calm jam. I'm quite surprised that Sakhanov has not decided to calm jam Marvin X's base yet. But I'm sure he will very quickly. And back when he is very near the EVP, he's actually teleporting the Zion Hawkins away to try to attack the expansion to the west. Instead of, instead of calm jamming the main base for some reason, like I said, very surprised at that move. I think Marvin X's main base probably was. Let's just double check. The energy has not been used, so no, the Zion Halkians... One of the Zion Halkians used energy, so there was actually a Calm Jam sent off. That's what I figured. A Calm Jam has been set off, and Sakhanov is trying to finish off this West Expansion as well. Marvin X is going to be having to try to get around this, but I don't know if he actually has a Teth Turcher that's free to get himself out of this. He's getting Gate Tag, and to try to Cronport back a Teth Turcher to save his own base. I don't know how effective this will be, or at the very least cause a Paradox, but he might be able to have a chance. If he's really careful, he might be able to actually get rid of that calm jam and be able to save himself, but it's hard to tell. Ted Searcher coming in from Sakhanov, possibly to help out, but it doesn't look like anything is coming out of Marvin X's base. All of his foundations have been calm jammed, so they won't be able to do anything. Foundation's coming up, Gate Tech's almost done, this foundation will become a slip gate, and as long as Marvin X can avoid that green time wave, he should be fine, but that green time wave, once it comes, will, like I said, cause possibly a paradox situation. And Marvin X would not want that, because of course if that happens, then he will lose, because that Paradox would not happen in his favor, more than likely. However, if it does happen, it does work out, and it looks like he actually needs to get away from that Slipgate Foundation before he can actually build a Slipgate. Once he gets the Slipgate up, if he's lucky, he should be able to get something going to actually save himself, but I really don't know how he's going to be able to do that. He needs the Teth Torture to save his comms, his, save his foundations, because they've all been calm jammed, or they should have been calm jammed. I know I saw them be calm jammed. Teth Torture as well is here, but... No, it looks like the foundations were not, in fact, properly calm gem. So, yeah, Marvin X might actually have a chance. If he sends a Teth Searcher back, he should be able to deal with this very effectively. Actually, you know what probably happened was that a Teth Searcher... He did turn Smart Idol on it. It's possible Smart Idol actually allows you to get through the freeze... Because the calm jam does prohibit players from commanding units, but it may actually allow for automatic... Oh, accidentally, Chrono Fight against the Zion Searcher there. Well, too bad for the Zion Searcher. But it might actually have allowed him to get rid of the 
Yeah, he might have been able to actually recover that. So, yeah, it looks like he was able to recover the base even with, with Smart Adelon, he's able to recover that. So, it was actually possible for Marvin X to get out of this. And Marvin X still has a chance. Tana's move didn't quite pay off completely, but it's a little hard to tell because Stahanov is still dealing a lot of damage, still dealing enough damage in the near the unplayable past that Marvin X's Chrono Port will not be especially effective, but at the very least, it was a valiant effort by Marvin X to get rid of this, but Tanov has managed to get around this Chrono Port, and even if that Freeze Bomb didn't, or not Freeze Bomb, the Calm Jam didn't manage to get through the base, it still managed to distract Marvin X enough that he didn't managed to completely get rid of this force coming in attacking him right now. So Marvin X, unfortunately, not really in a good position to get out of this. It looks like Sakhanov will be able to completely win out. And Sakhanov will have... Yeah, I think this is Sakhanov's game, really. Marvin X jumping into the future. I'm guessing he's going to try to chronoport something else back. He doesn't have Gay Tech research, though. And that red time wave is carrying his death, so I seriously doubt he's going to be able to do anything. And Marvin X has GG'd. So that is the game. Very short game, but very interesting use of Calm Jam and user recovery of Calm Jam, use of Smart Idol to recover Calm Jam, and I hope that was entertaining for you guys because that was still pretty interesting, despite its length. So thanks for watching and have a good night.